What's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ in another undefeated matchup versus number 17, UCLA. And you remember who's that quarterback for UCLA? Jeffrey Pendleton, our former number one recruit. And just looking at them, they have the number two scoring team in the nation. Pendleton is having himself a phenomenal first couple games of this season. And just looking at the top 25 standings, Auburn does drop to number eight. And we catapult to number three in the country. And just looking at other teams, Iowa loses in an overtime thriller at Rutgers. And wow, what a game that was. And then Virginia Tech falls by three to NC State as NC State is now undefeated and number six in the nation. Looking at the stats so far through the first four games, Tulevsky having himself a decent season to start the year. Not great, but he does have eight touchdown passes and four picks. Denzel Knox, he's ran for 430 yards, six touchdowns. Sammy Baldwin leading our team in receptions, touchdowns, and yards. And he has been the star for us so far this season on offense. And then Michael Cummings leads our team in tackles. No surprise there. The new starter at safety, Zamir Hines, is actually third in that category. James Jackson Jr. and Luther Bridges lead in sacks. And then in interceptions, Hayoli Monaga, who could not catch for anything last year. So many drop picks. He has three so far in the early part of the season. So let's just look at UCLA. Jeffrey Pendleton, 13 touchdowns, two picks so far this season. And last year he finished with 13, 32 and 11. And you just see his stats. He was supposed to be our starter at quarterback if it wasn't for Drayvon Jennings. He was probably getting there before Jennings was. And we end up missing out on him. But we got a great career out of Jennings, two Rose Bowls. So then they have Steven Bolin at running back and Will Carter at tight end, who is their leading receiver, leading their team in every statistical category as far as receiving goes. So we have our hands full in this game. So let's hop into the action. Here is UCLA starting out with the ball and here running a man in motion. Here's Pendleton facing some pressure right away, but getting it out to Williams for an eight yard throw to start it out. So under center this time, here is Pendleton. He's going to drop back, face some pressure again, finding his leading receiver, Will Carter, who has uh, been a great tight end for him. 11 yards and a first down. So under center at the 45, Pendleton throwing on the run. He's got Williams from the outside who coughs it up, but he's actually down on that one, so they do retain possession anyway. So under center again, facing some pressure. we got to send this pressure at Pendleton. We know how well he can get rid of the ball. He finds Darren Williams 14 yards on that play, first down. Pendleton is perfect so far on this drive. He's going to move in the pocket, throw across his body, then a fine Colbert who fights off a tackle from our cornerback, Josh Hemphill, and picks up six. So they lose a couple on second down. Here's a throw on third down, and that's going to be a stop by Marcus Daniels on Stephen Bolin, their starting running back, and that's going to be three points for UCLA on that first drive. So here is Champagne Green, feeling the kick. He's got a lot of room down the sideline. He's going to get pushed out at about the 45, setting us up with great field position. So out comes the red shirt freshman quarterback, actually red shirt sophomore, Tulevsky, as he's, his first pass is thrown out to Sammy Baldwin for nine yards, our leading receiver this season. So here is Knox on the carry. Somehow gets through that traffic and fights forward for six yards. So now at the 25-yard line, Tulevsky, he's going to move the pocket a little bit. He's going to throw this one away on a third down pass. He would have took the sack. That's actually a good throw away on that one. And we have to settle for three on that first drive. So here's Pendleton throwing out to the right side. He's got Williams, who's been involved early in this game, and that's a gain of 13. So from the shotgun, here on a third down pass, we're sending an all-out blitz this time, and it's picked up perfectly. He finds Colbert on the outside. A gain of 20, and that is a first down for UCLA. Remember, they have the number two scoring offense in the nation as they hand the ball off to Stephen Bowen. That's a nice tackle by Haoli Managa, bringing it to a third and 11 draw play. Here is Bowen finding another lane up the middle. He gets seven, 
And that's just going to put them slightly into field goal range as they line up to kick this long field goal. And that one is going to be good. I think he had another five yards or so on that kick. So on the next drive, here's Tulevsky trying one deep and starting it out with a deep shot. And that's overthrown to Sammy Baldwin to start it out. So now we get it to a third and seven. Here's Tulevsky throwing across the middle. He's got Champagne Green who can't hold on to it in traffic. He's going to drop that one. And that is going to be a punt as we give the ball right back to Tulevsky. Actually, Pendleton. Here's Pendleton throwing across the middle on his first pass. And he's going to be picked off by Michael Cummings. So Pendleton makes his first mistake of the game. Michael Cummings is right in the vicinity of two slant routes. And Pendleton must have thought that he was maybe guarding the last slant route, the deepest one. But we go underneath and get the interception. So here's Tulevsky back on the next drive. He's got Sammy Baldwin with the throw out to the left side. And that's a gain of 22 and a big first down. So now we're inside a field goal range. Here's a quick throw out to the right side. We got Jay Taylor that time. And that's a gain of seven. So now at third and one, here's a handoff up the middle. Here's Denzel Knox cutting back to the left side. And he's trying to get to the outside. He uses a stiff arm and he fights his way inside the five on that one. Gain of 13 and a first down. So we are on to the second quarter. Here's a handoff on the counter play out to Knox. He's going to fight his way in. And we take the lead back 10 to 6 here in the second quarter. So here's Pendleton back on the next drive, handing the ball off to Bolin, who's going to pick up six that time, tackled by Zamir Hines. So th a third and four now from the shotgun. Three wide receiver trips to the right. Here's Pendleton. He's going to throw it out to the left side, and that's going to be incomplete. So we forced the first punt of the game here for UCLA. So now we come back out on the next drive. Tulevsky throwing out to the right side, and that's way overthrown. We may have had the running back out of the backfield to the left side of the field open, but instead that's a throw to Sammy Baldwin way off the mark. So now third and 10. Here's Tulevsky. He's going to wait all day to throw the ball. We may have had a couple of options, but we wanted to go deep, and it just did not open up, and we have to punt the ball away to UCLA once again. So here's Pendleton back out onto the field, giving the ball off to Bolin. They have a nice balance attack as they've been throwing the ball well and running the ball. But here on third and three, Bolin trying to fight for the yardage. He can't get there. That's a gain of two. And that puts him in position for a very long field goal. And that one is barely going to be good from about 54 yards out. And that's nailed. So now in a 9-10 to 10 game, trying to get the screen pass going. Both teams have been playing pretty good defense here, but Daniel Dunn can only pick it up, pick up three on that one. So now a third and four. Here's a throw across to the right side. That's Champagne Green, and he's picking up the first, close to about the 47. That's a gain of 12. So now under a minute left here in the first half. Tulevsky throw to the right side. He's got Sammy Baldwin, 21 yards. That's a nice dive on that one by Sammy, and he holds on to it for the big game. So now 40 seconds left here in the second quarter. Here's Denzel Knox getting the swing pass out to the right, and he makes three men miss on one move, and that's a gain of 14. So now inside the 15, here on a first and 10, throw out to the middle of the field. That's a Kusi picking up a gain of seven as his clock continues to run. So we do call a timeout. Here 11 seconds left, and we give it to Knox, and that's going to be a one-yard touchdown run. We extend this lead to eight points as we score 17 in the first, and we shut down the other offense in the first half, 17-9. So here we come out on to start the second half. Here's Selevsky facing some pressure right away, and he gets sacked. We were maybe waiting for that wheel route to open up. We rolled out a little too soon, and we take the sack on that one. So a second and 21, facing some more pressure, and our offensive line is just collapsing versus D-line. That's two straight sacks to start the second half. So a third and 32. Here's a deep shot down the field. We got Sammy Baldwin, but it's going to be picked off by Wilson, the safety, and that is just going to act as a punt on that one. That was just a deep shot trying to take a chance. So now here's Pendleton back out onto the field. A score will tie it, but he gets some pressure around the edge, and James Jackson Jr. does get to him. As you can see, he's 12 for 19, 114 here in the early stages of the game. But here is Pendleton getting sacked, 
And that's Emmanuel Thomas, the former starter at right end. He's starting this year. And he comes up with the sack there on the screen. Doesn't even allow them, them to get it off. So here is Champagne Green on the return. He's got a lane to the left side. He's going to pick up a block and somehow get around the edge. He's got speed for days. He is gone on that one. 81-yard return by Champagne. And you remember, he did kind of have a slot receiver role. He's kind of lost that this year. Pretty much focused on returning. And he is scoring on that one for his first punt return of the season. So now Pendleton comes back out onto the field, running a screen pass out on a third and six, this time to Smith. And Smith is only getting two yards as that screen play does not work. And UCLA has to punt the ball away back to this offense. So 24-9, here's Daniel Dunn on the carry of the next drive. He's gonna break a tackle, get up field, and look at this open room he's got. And he is gonna outrun the defense, and he is going to be gone. I have never seen a run like this, breaking a tackle, breaking through, no energy left, but somehow has just enough fight in him, enough dog to fight his way to the end zone. What a run by Daniel Dunn. So 31-9 here in the third quarter, just like that. This game has opened wide open as we have shut down Pendleton in this game. There's another hit on them as they have to punt the ball away once again. So here is Champagne Green on the return. Another big return to the outside, but this time it gets pushed out of bounds at about the 31 after a 30-yard return. They cannot stop this speed on this special teams unit as here is Teleski rolling out to the right side. He's going to throw that way, and it's going to be an ill-advised throw just trying to do too much, and it's intercepted. That was just a bonehead pass on that one. I don't know what we were looking at. That may have been a wrong button but it's an interception. So now here's Pendleton. He gets another shot here as he continues the next drive. Throw it out to Brandon Colbert for about six yards. So now under center here, third and one, but they get a false start on the offense, on their guard. So now this ball moves back, third and six. Pendleton, he's going to face some pressure, and he's going to get rid of it out of bounds. Wow, Pendleton has not even got a yard here in the second half. That's just sad. I don't know what's happened to this UCLA offense. So now on a second and three on the next drive, here's Tyree Jordan getting open in the flats as we get the ball to about the 33 on that pass. So now here's Tulevsky on a play action fake. He's gonna throw out to the right side. He's got a Kusi on the outside for 21 yards. That's a nice catch and a nice route on that one by a Kusi. So now first and 10, throw out to the right side. There's Jay Taylor. Who steps out of bounds? He almost could have had a touchdown on that one. So now we get inside the five. Here is Champagne Green on the carry on the jet sweep. And he's getting in for the three-yard touchdown run. And he's got a, a running touchdown and a special teams return touchdown, a punt return. And now that makes it a 38-9 game. So here is Pendleton finally completing a pass here in the second half. And he's going to find his tight end Smith on this one. And that's a first down. But they're in a big hole. They need more than just small plays. Here's a throw out to the right side. And it's picked off by Zamir Hines, the Juco transfer. He's going to take this one back and get hunted down from behind at about the 20. But a face mask gives us even more yards to start this fourth quarter. So now here's a handoff up the middle. Denzel Knox going to fight his way forward to about the one. Almost had a touchdown on that one and that's a gain of 10. So we give the ball right back to him. He's gonna run over a defender right in the end zone, and he's in for the touchdown, and it is 45 to nine. We just had a one score lead going into halftime, and now it has just opened up as they try to go deep, and that's just the type of game they're having. Josh Hemphill just knocks away a touchdown. So now five minutes left here in the fourth. Gotcha, Here's bitch. a pressure up the middle, and wow. We are just getting to him that time. It's JoJo Forrest. Pendleton in this offense has folded in the second half, and I have no idea what has happened. I think it's just a lack of adjustments by their coach, poor play calling, and we are just finishing them off here, giving the ball off to Daniel Dunn. Here he is on a counter play to the left side. He's going to cut up field and spin his way forward for a gain of nine. 
So he's over 100 yards with that carry, his first 100-yard game of his career as we put Ray Reed in the game as well. Here's his first throw out to the right side. He's got Mark Harrell to the right side who breaks the tackle. And look at this, just poor coaching by this UCLA team. Another face mask. And we are now inside the 10-yard line, second and 10. Here's a throw across the middle. That's Champagne Green. He's got his third touchdown of the game, 10 yards out. Receiving touchdown, rushing touchdown, and a punt return touchdown. What a game. And he is definitely going to be the player of the game in this one. So many yards from him. 272 all-purpose yards, three total touchdowns. What a dominant performance by this SJSU team as we go on to win this one 52-9. And Tulevsky didn't even throw any touchdowns through two picks, but this rushing attack had his back. Daniel Dunn, 80-yard run, equates to 120 total, 58 from Denzel Knox, three touchdowns, and then the special teams unit led by Champagne Green, they did their thing as Sammy Baldwin didn't even have to have a big game in this one as we go on to win and man we just shut down Jeffrey Pendleton he just couldn't do anything in this game a kind of a sad showing I expect him at the next level either way but still I got to give it up to this defense pretty much just shutting down the number two scoring offense in the nation just remember that that was one of the top offenses in the nation here in this series and you just see Zamir Hines had a pick Michael Cummings actually had a pick in this one as well Jojo Forrest had a sack and Pendleton 21 for 37 194 yards just couldn't do anything and he was shut down in the second half they started out well but just could not finish so let's see where we're at next week we are going to kind of uh have a double header maybe even a triple header you never know we'll see what happens in the next episode but I'm, I'm excited for this school and this year. I think this might be our year. We are 4-0. We're still in the Big 12. We still need to win some Big 12 games. So we'll see once we get into Big 12 play. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We are continuing this season, coming down the middle of the schedule. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.